Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your cardio boot camp workout. This is an all body weight workout where you have the option to keep it standing or take a few things down on the mat to get a little extra core, but all of it is going to keep your heart pumping for cardio. And of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level, so make sure that you listen to your body and be where you are today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and just start moving. We're gonna get a quick little warm up and then we're gonna jump right in. So go ahead and roll those shoulders while you're getting the blood flowing, getting that body's core temperature up. Our goal today is just to get moving. You know that's what I always say, show up and keep moving. If you show up today, you are successful. So you're here, you're already succeeding, right? So our goal is to get moving, get our hearts pumping, get our muscles working. It does not have to be perfect. You just gotta move, right? So that is what we are here to do. I'm gonna give you lots of different options. Low impact, high, you do what's best for you. We have four quick circuits today. I think this workout is gonna go by quick. Each circuit has three exercises. Just get a little hinge right through here that we will do two times through, but the second time through, we will mix it up. You have the option to keep it back to basics, like your first round. Let's go ahead and squat it down and then roll through the hips. Or I'll give you a progression, and that might be down on the mat, not on the mat, on the floor, but if you've got a mat, down on the mat to add a little extra core. That might be taking it up a notch or adding on. And again, you have the option to always just keep it regular, all right? so. Four quick circuits, three moves two times through. Your first round is 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Round two, let's tap it back right here, is 30 seconds of rest. No, 30 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. So I think you're gonna have a good time. I think you will feel your muscles working, but we're gonna keep it mostly cardio today. Go ahead and hold it back right here, nice and wide. Get a little stretch over if that feels good for you. And if you were able, drop that hand, drop that back knee, just to get a little stretch through there, and take that arm up. Woo. Right there, you can even do a little reach. And up, I'm feeling my legs, right through here. And then if you want, you can step back into the high plank, or, you can take it back up right through here. Again, drop that knee. Looks like this from the side. So if you wanna drop it down, reach it up, reach through and up. So cardio boot camp, but I don't want you to get too hung up on that. Some of these will feel like some of your traditional exercises. Go ahead and step it in and round it up. That we think of tap and reach when it comes to boot camp, but it's just a name. Don't get too worried about cardio boot camp. We're just working in circuits like boot camps often do, and we're keeping the heart rate up, all right? So four circuits. Whew. We're gonna start with the first one in just a minute. Ending our warm up with a little bit of cardio in itself. So hopefully your heart rate's already up. We're already doing the jab. Right here, cross it right here. So in those 20 seconds and 15 seconds rest, Make sure you really get that rest. The goal would be to push yourself hard in those intervals and then actually need that recovery, all right? Don't feel like you have to keep moving the entire time. You can if you want. You can just march it out, whatever is good for you. But get that rest, get that recovery so you can go into your next interval with energy and ready to go. All right, your very first move is just gonna be an alternating knee drive. So I actually want us to turn a bit, knee, turn, Knee, turn. Don't feel like you have to make it a dance move. You can just be here too. But let's get it done. 40 seconds, knee drive in three, two, one. Let's do it. Up, up, up. Now listen, you don't have to actually make that turn big. You can just be here. But knee drive, think hands to knee. Low impact, you can keep it a little lower. Higher impact, you can add a little jump. You do you. This is your workout, Shh. Huh. Huh. right? Up to you. And again, 
your pace, your workout. So if you're going slower than me or faster than me, doesn't matter as long as you're moving, as long as you're safe and you're doing things effectively. Three, two, one, catch your breath. All right, next move. We're gonna do that very classic hamstring curl. So remember this, we just did it in the warm up. squeeze in the glute, flex the foot, bring those arms back. You have the option to keep it here or add a little power up. Let's get it done, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, ham curl. I like to cross my arms in front. Low impact, keep it here. High impact, take it to a little jump. If you want a little extra, you can even have those hands overhead. That'll give us that chest opener. So you know I'm always trying to work in your mobility as well. Whoo, right through here. Guys, we're in this new space. This is only the second workout that I have filmed in here. And it is amazing, we have so much space. I really just wanna do a bunch of shuffles because we got the space <laughs> to do it, right? Woo, ha, three, two, one, and breathe. All right, your last move, classic boot camp move, classic cardio move, and I love it, skater. So step, cross behind, reach. Step, cross behind. I want you to get the mobility out of it, especially this first round. Back to basics, when we repeat, we'll add that space. Let's do it. Skater, low impact, step, cross behind. Step, cross behind. Little higher, you can take it a little more of a jump. If you want a little more legs, get low with it, right? It's a curtsy lunge. So get down there, push out of that hip, side to side. Either way, don't feel like you have to rush it. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me or anybody else. You're just getting that lateral movement. We're crossing behind in that transverse plane, which we need in our lives. We are gonna be working in all planes of motion. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, round two of those same exercises. We got that knee drive. If you can, we're gonna take it double. So we're going up for two, switch, up, for two, if you wanna just keep it regular, you can keep it regular. If it feels better to keep it forward without turning, you do you, 30 seconds, double. And again, you can do it, just power here, or you can add that jump. Drive, we get this from our boxing, right? Knee drive, as if you're kneeing into the bag or the mitt, or the opponent, right? Double, double, hup, hup. We got three, two, one, yes. 30 seconds, gonna go by so fast. All right, so you can do your regular hamstring curl, or you can do two curls, then down here, little donkey kick. Totally optional, another option, is donkey kick, donkey kick. Curl and curl, all right? We got 30 seconds. That one took a little longer to explain, but let's do it. In three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds. So just your regular hamstring curls or two curls up top, donkey kick down below. We got one, two, three, kick it up. Do not do that if you don't feel safe doing it. Remember, you can go here, here. It's an advanced move, it's a boot camp move, but again, don't do it unless you feel safe. Up, up, and relax, yes, team. All right, your last move, that skater bound. You can just do a skater, or we're actually gonna do bound, side to side, big step, cover the space, because we finally have it in here. Then we're getting water, 30 seconds. Here we go. Skater bound, side to side. So even if you're keeping it low impact, big step, right? You can still cross behind. Yes, team, 10 seconds. You got a breather coming. So really push through these last five, four, three, two, one. Water, yes, team. That is what it's about. Do you feel how quick that went? We got three more of those, all right? Same idea. Keeping it back to basics, 
adding a little bit of intensity in round two. Getting it done. Oh man, y'all. Woo! All right, so here we go. We're starting, do I have this one backwards? I don't think so. All right, we're starting with a lateral side squat. So here to here. You don't have to get super low unless you want to when we take it up. We'll do a little squat pop. I'll show you once we're there. Let's get it done. Step out to the side, squat it down. Here we go, tap, and here, tap. I'm actually gonna do a reach up, encouraging you to get low, but if this is better for where you are today, right? Just tap or get down, reach up high, down, reach up high. Yes, I'm sneaking in some squats because I know you can do it, right? Hand up. Yes. Woo. 10 seconds, reach low to high. Still get low. Three, two, and one. Yes, team. All right, so we're going to push jacks. So it's your regular jumping jack, low impact or high, but we're gonna do a push, push, push up, push out, either with the step, woo, you keep going, or with the jump, let's do it, here we go, up and out, up and out. Low impact works too. I want you to really think, elbows push, push. Strong arms, so we're getting those arms working as well. Yes, we're heart rate, yes, we're getting our feet moving, we're getting agility, cardio, mobility, all of that, but also arms. Arms in the same way we just got the legs with those squats. Man, this one, woo, keep it going. I promise I'm not trying to get out of this exercise. Here we go, hut, hut, hut. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, so tap, tap, lunge. Anybody remember this one? We've done it before. We're going tap, tap, and lunge. Tap, tap, and lunge. If you don't wanna get all the way down in the lunge, that is okay. You do you, but let's wrap that core. Tap it back, let's do it, 40 seconds. Tap, tap, and lunge. Tap, tap, and lunge. Again, I want you to get those arms up high just straight, so again, we're working that mobility in, but that also keeps our heart rate up, right? Tap, tap, if you can get low, get low. Tap, tap, big reach, whoo! Tap, tap, and reach, ha! 10 seconds to go. Reach, still getting used to the space that my camera is right there. Three, two, one, ha, boom. All right, team, 30 seconds is what we got here, all right? So we are taking it to lateral squat pops. So we're gonna go for two, here, for two. So double, little hop, a little pop if you can, or double lateral squat. Let's do it. Hop it, down, shuffle. So it's a little lateral squat pop, but with a shuffle. Again, low impact, you're here. Still try to get low with it. If this is you and you're just sidestepping, that's okay too. But if you can, pop it. Five, four, three, two, one, breathe. All right, team, so those push jacks, how about we take it plank jacks? So you can keep it up top. High impact or low, you can take it down here. High impact or low. Join me, here we go. We got 30 seconds either way. Out here, you can still keep the regular jack up top. You can be down here from your knees to get some extra core. You can be low impact or you can be high. Up to you, you do you. What I don't want is dropping those hips here or here, right, not here. Shoulders right above the elbows, right over the wrist. Keep it going, three, two, one, boom. A little extra core. Huh. All right, team, here's a good one. You know at Classic Boot Camp, you're just gonna switch lunge, right? 
You can tap it in, tap it in, low impact, or jump it. Here we go. So here, and here, and here. If you can, let's get that burn. If you wanna tap it in between, you can still get the jump, get the jump, all right? If you just wanna keep the taps here, you do you, all right? We're doing it. Then round two is done. We got two more to go. Five, four, three, two. <sighs> right? Rest is part of the process. So catch your breath. Grab a sip. Oh man, two more circuits. They're gonna go by super fast, all right team? We're gonna start with whoo, a side lunge. So I want you to get deep for mobility. If you can, side to side. Then we're gonna take it standing climber. You probably know where that's going. To a climber down below. Whoo, then we're going to an X slide. Let me show you before we start. You're gonna slide and make an X. So you're just going at the diagonals. I don't care what it looks like. You're just gonna get diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Don't overthink it, just move. All right, I'll talk you through it. Then we're gonna take some things down to the mat. But let's start with just your regular side lunge, side to side, get deep for mobility, work to your level, 40 seconds. Down and reach. So again, use those arms. You can go one down, one up. Stretch. So I should have tiled this cardio mobility in boot camp, right? Because I'm trying to work in that mobility, which also gives you options if that's where you are today. Maybe you normally do high intensity cardio, but you need that mobility today. Let's get both with the option to take it up. In round two, get low, reach back, high, reach. Up. Yes, team, three, two, and one. All right, so standing climber. I'm gonna go here, cross climber. I want you to think about that cross mountain climb. Here, here, here. If that's not right for you, you tap it, right? Think of our knee drive in the beginning, but I want you to get a little bit of rotation if you can, and hands behind the head. Let's do it, 40 seconds, cross, cross. Trying to keep it open, right? If that's not right for your back, then tap it, tap it, or think more here. But if you can, open, open. If you wanna add the jump, you can. Or keep it low impact, you do you. We got less than 20 seconds, 15. When we go down to that map, we'll get that regular climber, but you can always stay here, right? Five. Four, three, two, core, mobility, cardio. We got it. All right, I want you to draw an imaginary X. You're gonna slide to a point. You're gonna diagonal. You're gonna go across. You're gonna go diagonal. Then you can switch it, right? If you want, take it back. Whatever you wanna do on that X, I just want that movement. Let's get it done. Here we go. Slide, cross, slide, cross. Slide, maybe take it back. Hup, hup. You've got the space, whatever space you have. If you don't have a ton of space, you just be here, right? I all of a sudden have all this space, so I'm gonna really go for it. Woo, side to side. Slide, slide. Then reverse it if you want. Woo, hup, hup. I just want a little bit of that mobility through our hips, through our torso, that transverse plane. I don't care what it looks like, low impact or high, relax. All right, team, so going back to that side lunge, up the intensity, here, shuffle, here, shuffle. Whatever you do to get a bigger shuffle, it can just be a big reach, it can be a hop. You do you, 30 seconds. Here we go, use your space, as you can tell. I'm super excited to be in a bigger space, right? You guys don't know this, but our previous two spaces, I know maybe they look big on camera, but they've been pretty tiny. Now I have all this space, all this light. I just wanna use it. I wanna run across this floor. Whoo! Can't even describe to you how good it feels. 
So use it. You got a breather coming in three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team, you can keep it here. Or take it to that mountain climber. Again, classic boot camp move. As you know, one of my favorites. It's not about speed, it's about form. Knees across, here we go. Here, you can go low impact here, or you can run it. What I don't want is for it to be back here or hips up. Take those knees across. You're still getting strong core, and you don't have to go super fast. Hips in alignment, tilt it in, wrap in that core. You got 10 seconds, wherever you are. Standing, high impact, low impact, doesn't matter. Finish strong for five, four, three, two, one. Ha. All right, guys, X slide. Let's not overcomplicate it. If you can, if you want to do a little more of a hop, you can. Otherwise, just slide, getting some diagonals, getting some lateral movement. You do you. Here we go. Last 30. Breathe. Can you still see your X? Doesn't matter. As long as you're moving, what's happening with your hips and with your torso? That is mobility work. Anytime we have to move, especially quickly, we're improving our agility, our quickness, our speed. That reduces our risk for injury. <laughs> Maybe injury, In energy too, good, relax. Reduces our risk for injury, improves our balance, helps us to be more strong and stable overall. Grab some water. One last circuit. I told you it was gonna go fast. All right, team. So this one has a right side and a left side. We are going to go punch and knee. Punch and knee. If you can, I want you to rotate into it, power it up. If you wanna keep it forward, that works too. If you're not a boxing person, just reach. Doesn't matter to me what it looks like. We got 20 on the right, 20 on the left. Then we'll add a little kick to it, we'll take it 30. All right, then we're going to take it to a walk back, here to here. I'm gonna give you some options to keep it standing, and then of course, we'll end with a burpee. All right team, jab and knee or cross. Let's do it, take it here, and up, low to high. You can just punch it right here or low, and power, and up. If you like boxing, you probably love this move. I know I do. But again, you can reach. Switch to the other side. Here we go, cross, and knee, and up, or punch, and knee. You do you. So close to being done with this workout. Then breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, that's your first two, team. All right, so you can take it down, reach it back, reach it back, bring it up, or walk it back, walk it in, bring it up. Again, I told you I was gonna get mobility. Let's get it done, 40 seconds. Down, reach, reach, and up, if you're staying off the ground, just try to touch, tap, tap, and reach. You can even keep it up here, open up the hips, think about the mobility, whatever that is for you. If you can, walk it back, walk it in wide, all the way up. Still gonna get your heart rate up, no matter how we do it. And breathe, yes, team. And up, last one. Catch your breath. Yes, team. All right, let's do it all again. 30, 30, and 30, and that is it. Watch me. Punch and kick. If that's not right for you, you just keep the punch and knee. If you can, little kick doesn't have to be high. We got 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Let's finish it out. Punch, kick, huh, or knee. Punch, kick. Low to high. You don't have to be high. You can just tap and kick or punch. And knee, but let's finish it out. Yes, 
I know I want to go all the way to that wall because I have the space. But let's keep doing it. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Quick little breather. We'll give that other side. Then we're going to finish out with a walk back, tap back, or a burpee. But let's get that first punch and knee or punch and kick. 30 seconds. Breathe. Yes. Get low, get high. If that's good for you. 15 seconds. Finish it out strong, team. Yes, you can. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, this is it. I promise no bonus move. Let's just finish it out. You got 30 seconds of either your reach down and tap or reach and tap, your walk back or your burpee. Your burpee, you can take it all the way to the floor or just pop it back, jump it up or reach it up. You do you, 30 seconds. Whew. Let's finish it out. Catch your breath. Wrap that core, give it all you got because then we're cooling it down. In three, two, one, here we go. Pop it back, pop it in, jump it up, or walk it back, walk it in, power it up. You can also go all the way to the ground. I probably won't do that because we're still a little dusty in here from construction, but keep it going. 15 seconds, are you with me? Whatever it is to get you through these last five, just move. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Three, two, one. Yes, you can. And yes, you did. Tap it up. Ooh. Yes, team. Roll those shoulders. Let that heart rate come down. Ooh. Breathe. I am so proud of you for being here, and I hope that you're proud of yourself. I'm so proud of me for being here. This is something to be proud of. You worked hard, you showed up. If it was hard, I will always remind you, it's because you're working hard, right? Big stretch here. If it was challenging, it's because you showed up to challenge yourself, all right? It's not hard because you can't do it. It's hard because you did do it. You are doing it. That's my reminder to you today and every day. If it's hard, it's because you're working hard. Don't forget it. Repeat that in your brain whenever you need it. It's not just about fitness, it's about life. It's hard because I'm working hard. It's hard because I'm doing it, right? Remember, whoo, stretch right through here. Can we get a little hamstring stretch? Please leave me a comment. Let me know how you felt in this workout. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this circuit of just three and three? Goes by quick, right? Whew. Do you like upping the intensity as we go so you have options and so we get a little more mobility? Let me know, I love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Of course, please join us in the BodyFit Athletic Club on the BodyFit by Amy app if you can. You get access to me, to our BodyFit dietitian, to an amazing community and so much more, the Method Nutrition Plan live streams, Q and A's. And of course, if you are able, we're gonna bring that foot up. If that's not right for you, just tilt your hip forward, fingertips to the back. Kind of afraid to touch this wall because it's so beautiful. Whoo, breathe. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Spread the word to others to come get free workouts that all they have to do is show up and move. That is what it is about. Whoo, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to show up every day in this way. You can show up in any way, right? Be where you are today, and I mean that, and that doesn't always mean a full workout. That means listening to your body. That means showing up for the long term, right? Ha! Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with you. Let's get one big deep breath in. I'm gonna come up here and out. You did it. That was your cardio boot camp workout. Great job, everybody.